Hello everyone. How is everyone doing on this Saturday? So I wanted to come and talk to you today because I know we are going through a lot right now. We're going through a lot of things and you know, it's, it's kind of difficult to put everything into perspective at this point, but I just want to say to everyone out there, we really need to be worried about our physical health with the pandemic, but we also need to be worried about our financial health. So while we are wondering what nail salon we are going to go to, what vacation we are going to take, we're, what how we are going to celebrate in the upcoming months, we need to be happy for the blessing that we have, which is our life. And, you know, we are some that have not been affected by the coronavirus. And uh, basically, that's something, you know, to be thankful for each and every time we wake up. But I also want to say that we need to be worried just as much about our financial health. Because if you're not worried about your financial health and you're not worried about your credit and how you're going to be affected through this pandemic and when this pandemic eventually is over because basically financially things are not going to return uh they're forecast until about 2021 financially so it's going to be a lot of things that are going on and that are not going to be back to normal until about 2021 so think about that so the end of 2021 so if you don't have your things in order or if you are not preparing to get your things in order then when it's time for you to actually be able to do the things that you need to do and you want to do you're gonna have another roadblock so let me actually let me just share this uh with some other people because i really want people to understand the significance of what's going on and how we actually need to prepare because there's so many people who are worried about where you're going but you're not worried about your financial your financial health so i want to tell you that your financial health is just as important. Your financial health is just as important as you worried about where you're going to get your toes done, your nails done. You know, we all have brilliant students who graduated in 2020. And, you know, we couldn't celebrate with them the way we would have liked to celebrate with them. But we can be thankful. But what we can do is prepare financially for these, these children that we have that we know excelled and did what many other generations have never had to do in a hundred years you know our children have had to have virtual graduations and you know deal with so much uh decease and death and in the matter of months and learn how to homeschool the least we could do is prepare as much as possible for them financially and that starts with your credit one way to do that is with your credit. So you have to be really, this is Diamond Life Credits Flyer. So, you know, you have to really be, you know, proactive about those things and about what we can do. So we know we can't predict what's going on with Corona. Uh, we have riots. We have racial injustice. We can't predict everything. We can take action. We can be proactive. We can stand up. We can talk. We can definitely learn what we need to do financially so just as we are all worried about those things i mean everyone has something that's a priority more important to them but i'm going to tell you if you're not worried about your credit and what they're forecasting is that things are going to be you know on a tipsy topsy scale up and down till maybe the end of 2021 you don't want to be the person that waits until 2021 or in 2021 when things get better for your finances to start and have to start your process. Because credit is a process, I'm gonna let you know. It's a process, it's not an overnight fix. It does take 
a couple of months for you to get where you need to be, depending on where you are and what's going on with your particular credit situation. So some people, it will take, you know, an average of four months. And, you know, if someone is in a different position, it may take uh, even longer for certain people, or depending on what uh, damage is done and what has to, your know, credit has to go through. But it's a unique situation for each individual. So, you know, if you are interested, you can definitely call uh, and speak to a professional and get started. But I just want to let you know that it's okay to, to worry about, you know, your when where you're getting your nails done. And, but if you're not worried about your financial health, how you are going to maintain when this is over, because so many people have lost employment. So even if it doesn't feel like it's doing anything to you at this point, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled that this is not going to affect you. And the thing that you can do and should do is put yourself in a place where you are covered and you have given yourself the allowance to be able to do certain things by keeping yourself in a financial, keeping your finances as a priority. We have to worry about our body. We have to worry about, you know, our physical health. We definitely have to worry about our financial health. So I just wanted to come and talk to everyone really quick. I have some things coming up. I'm working on some things. You know, I want to share with you. As always, I will share with you and grow with you and help you grow and uh, reach different levels. So, you know, I want you to be aware. And um, I will be having my do-it-yourself credit uh, repair course is going to be on my website. So that's going to... Uh, be there soon. I'll announce the date next week because I do have it available, but it's, you're going to be able to get it uh, directly from my website. So you can just click into my website and go get it. But uh, everyone, enjoy your Saturday and I will be back to talk to you uh, and really give you some information because I just want people to understand how important it is for you to really think about your financial health as well as your physical health, but your financial health is also a priority. So I want, you know, you to really understand that and keep that, be mindful of that. Be mindful that you definitely need to think about your financials as much as you think about, you know, everything else that's going on in your life because it's ultimately going to affect you uh, on, a, on a high level. So, you know, I want you guys to really understand that. And I uh, just want to say really quick, we're working on Feminine Finances Magazine. Feminine Finances Group is here. Uh, it's so much going on. Just make sure you're following me on Instagram, Charlene Randall, at Charlene underscore Randall, on Facebook, Charlene Randall, YouTube, Charlene Randall, everything is Charlene Randall. So I will be back to discuss some things with you um, really soon. So enjoy the rest of your Saturday.